Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Tech and Art. Hope you guys are doing well. Today we are going to discuss about how to recover a database from suspect mode. Okay, so we are uh, before starting the session. Whoever newly joined on my channel, please like, do subscribe, and share to others as well. Please visit the channel playlist SQL Server DBA. You will get the more than 200 videos, which is all related with day-to-day -day activity and which can help you to you know the interviews questions and answer also okay so let me start let me connect my management studio and you can see that a uh, couple of steps you need to execute to recover suspect mode database it's very simple and uh, if you go with this approach definitely it will work and it is you know highly recommended also okay so whenever you see uh, suddenly your database got suspect mode so you need to understand why it's went actually so region of the suspect mode database uh, if you can see here i have mentioned mostly database is went to suspect mode because of this issues only okay so data files or log files are corrupted maybe database server was shut down in, pro in inappropriately the lack of, uh, lack of disk space this is the most uh, silent killer uh, issues uh, lack of disk space if you are not continuously working on or proactively working on a uh, disk space alert uh, your database definitely uh, will go to suspect mode so whenever you uh, you are getting the alert for the disk space uh, uh, please start working proactively because otherwise if it is a production database uh, definitely it will go suspect mode and it will impact the business okay so uh, don't ignore the disk space alert okay sql uh, cannot complete a rollback or forward operation so some kind of transaction because of transaction also it's went for the suspect mode so these are the couple of bullet points uh, which can cause uh, to went the database suspect mode okay now the question is how to recover actually or how to recover from the suspect mode okay uh, so if you come here so you need to execute the couple of steps so firstly what you need to do change the status of your database suppose your database name is blue chip db so you need to execute the command execute sp reset status your database name so what it will do it will turn off the suspect mode flag from your database okay then you can take the second step alter database blue chip set emergency you need to apply the database on an emergency mode so for that you need to execute the command alter database your database name set emergency okay so now it will that your database will come to your come to in emergency mode okay now you can check it the consistency dvcc check db your database name so in this report database consistency report if you are getting error in some cases you know uh, this dvcc check db only it fix the issues and your database will come from the suspect mode uh, so here you will get the exact overview or either any any kind of issues in this dbc check db report or not if it is not if it is report is there is there any kind of bug is there what you need to do you need to go for the further steps <coughs> so you need to uh, take the database in a single user mode immediately so what you need to apply it alter database database name set single user mode with rollback immediate don't forget to put this one otherwise it if you execute the command till here only it will take time so uh, apply with rollback immediate immediately it will take the database in single user mode okay then the next step is you know you need to apply the repair allow data loss command so dbcc check db your database name repair allow underscore data underscore loss this is the very very you know uh, useful command and it's asked so many interviews question also what are the, uh, the commands you need to execute uh, to recover the from the database suspect modes which which command you are using so this is this dbcc command is very helpful and we should aware all times okay now in this step your database is uh, in a recovered so now you can take it in a multi user mode so again same alter database database name set multi user mode now your database is multi user mode so now you can ask to check the connection with connectivity and all everything you can refresh the database from console and you can ask to check the connectivity anything any is there any kind of loss reported by application user or whatever and then you can uh, think about the restore from the backup you have taken okay if it is not then well and good uh, we are good here we can uh, hand it over to the application user to check the connectivity everything is fine smoothly no data loss reported 
then we are good we we, we have recovered successfully on database from suspect mode so this is the steps to execute the database uh, from the suspect mode it's a quite uh, step by step process uh, you can note down on i will provide in a description as well and yeah that's it so uh, this through this way you can recover the database from the suspect mode that's it for today guys i will meet you soon very quick uh, quickly and we'll we'll uh, we'll discuss some lab session also i am not getting time to execute the some lab session okay but i i have a plan for other database also to execute lab session also okay thank you